Hi, welcome to my 16th video. I can't believe I've got this far. This is part of 21 days on how to increase your energy vibration. Really simple, practical things that you can do on a day-to-day -day basis to nurture yourself, nurture your home environment, your family, and increase your mindfulness and increase your energy vibration. My name's Sandra Nelson. I'm a life coach. I'm also a Reiki master. I'm also an intuitive psychic reader and healer. All my work's online and I work worldwide. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and hit the notifications button because I post my videos every Tuesday. Please catch up with a complete series of all the top tips, really simple, easy things to do. One of the very first tips I shared was how to get really clear on your goals. Very, very important video because this one is also equally very important. It's tip number 16 and it's to be really, really conscious of the images that you have around you in your home. What kind of images do you have? And if you were to look at those images, are those images really representing where you are going in terms of your goals and your dreams? And so, for example, if you're a single person and you want to manifest a relationship, is there an image of one person all the time in all the images in your home? I once helped a very, very close friend who wanted to start to have a relationship. She'd been quite broken hearted in previous relationships. And when I went to visit her home, she had images all over her entire home. Every single image had one woman on her own. Very similar to what someone else has shared on quite a worldwide famous video. And this actually, um, this actually was completely true. One person, one woman alone in every single painting and piece of art that she had in her home environment. I've gone to other people's um, home environments where they felt very sad, depressed and heavy, and they've had images uh, which are maybe images of, say for example, a crying child. I have no idea why people actually have that image in their house, but they've had an image of a crying child, and they've also had images of kind of inanimate objects. You know, so they've just been very kind of contemporary um and flat images images that have faded over time that they have no energy there's no vitality from them and as someone who actually is an artist who's really passionate about art and color and creativity um the more that you can bring that energy vibration and that clean palette into your house and your home the better look at the images all around you what are those images saying how do they link in with top tip number one which is to get really clear on your goals if you were looking at those images which are everywhere around you in your home in your apartment wherever you live do they actually say this is what your goals are are the images which are going to carry you forward check it out my name is sandra nelson i am a life coach i'm also a reiki master and i'm an intuitive healer and reader i'd love to hear your comments please subscribe hit the notifications videos are posted every tuesday and i really love to get some feedback from you as we grow a mindful community on youtube enjoy have fun